Hey guys, welcome back to Endless Pages. I'm Liv and welcome to my bedroom floor where I'm currently filming this. Uh, today's video is going to be my 2022 reading slash channel goals. Uh, I have been seeing that everyone's been uploading these kind of videos at the moment and I panicked and I was like, I haven't even thought about that, let alone filmed it. So that's what I'm doing today. Look how organized I am. I write like a little list of my goals. Look at me go <laughs> doing something not half assed for once. It's a miracle. First goal, how many books I want to read in 2022. So here's the trick, right? Here's how I stay positive. I set my expectations low so then when I actually hit them, I won't be disappointed. So that's my usual thinking, right? But for 2022, I'm like, no, we're going to set our expectations high and we're going to be super disappointed when I don't meet them. So I'm setting my reading goal at 65 books, which for me is a lot. That's a lot of books to read in a year for me. I think, yeah, this year's goal was 40. So 65 for 2022 is a lot and I'm potentially working, hopefully, not potentially, I hopefully I'm able to find a full-time job next year. So ugh, that's, that's not the greatest time I'm flicking my pen. That's going to be very annoying. That's not the greatest time to choose to set my goal higher than ever, but that is okay. I, um, I'm going to try. How many books is that a month? I don't even know the mass. Let me do the mass. five six books a month which is doable that's not like a crazy goal for me like I've read in my good months I read like five books so I could potentially do that okay okay maybe like not too crazy of a goal another goal I want to achieve in 2022 is finish more series I start so many series and never finish them or just like leave a gap so big that by the time I actually do pick them up again I can't remember a single thing that's happened and I have to start over which is so annoying um these ones especially are really beginning to annoy me that I haven't continued on like the Diviner series by Libba Bray the Raven Boy series the Legend series by Marie Lu uh and the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab those are ones that I'm definitely gonna have to finish because it's getting ridiculous at this point and those are all finished series, so I don't have an excuse. Um, I started some of those years ago. They're my oldest ones on my list. So shame on me. I'm going to finish more series in 2022. And then the third reading goal is to broaden my horizons. I feel like this is a pretty general and self-explanatory uh, goal. But I specifically want to read more adult books. Don't get me wrong. I still love young adult and young adult will still be my primary, um, what's the word, genre, a group of books that I read. Um, obviously some young adult books I do feel that I'm not quite the age for anymore. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop reading young adult. They will always be my favourite. I will always read young adult books, but I think... I'm starting to discover that there are some adult books that I like. I feel like I'm intimidated by adult books because I primarily read fantasy and a lot of adult fantasy books are high fantasy and I just, I can't read it. My brain can't deal with it. So if anyone has any recommendations for good adult books, doesn't have to be fantasy, just adult books in general, um, I would love to hear them because I want to buy more adult books and read more adult books next year. Um, because why not? I feel like I'm missing out on so many good adult ones because I'm like intimidated by reading adult books. Even though I'm an adult, I'm 23, but that's okay. Along with reading more adult books, just reading anything other than the genre of fantasy. I just read fantasy and I, I look back on my TBRs and my hauls and I like watch it. I'm like every book I'm talking about here is fantasy. So expanding my horizons with genres. If anyone has any good ways, um, good books I should say, that I could ease into horror or any classics that are like bearable for people that don't usually like classics, anything like that. I am looking for great recommendations. So let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for that as well. Finally, in terms of reading, um, next year I want to be involved in more readathons and more book clubs and more buddy reads. Um, I really enjoy picking out my TBRs, even though it kind of stresses me out, but in a good way, picking out my TBRs for uh, readathons and finding books that fill prompts. I find it fun, a bit of a challenge and satisfying when everything fits in. 
Um, and I've never like done an online like book club before and I would love to. I'd love to be more involved and I think it's just a great way to meet new people in the community as well. So that is kind of my final reading goal. In terms of I guess you'd say like social media goals, a big one is being more active in the community. Um, nothing makes me more happier to see when people comment on my videos and interact with my tweets and stuff that makes me so happy so I want to make um, it a point that I'm doing that more um, and keeping up with the content creators that I love to watch because I know what joy it brings me and um, I love interacting with people on Twitter and commenting on their YouTube comments I just think it's great and I try and comment on every video I watch um, uh, I do fall behind a lot on my favourite creators. So keeping up to date with them, being as engaged as I can on their posts and their videos is a big goal because, uh, yeah, it's it's appreciated, especially with the smaller ones I watch. They always respond and um, comment back on your comments. So I like to see that and I like to, um, I don't know, pay more attention to the people that I know are super more likely to respond to you and that are really willing to be engaged with their audiences. I find that more enjoyable than commenting on someone's video that's got, you know, all these views and you can see that they're not interacting with anyone. Like I know it's different, it's harder when you have a bigger channel and like everyone you're getting hundreds of comments but I don't know, I just, I appreciate the people that are really active with the people that watch their content and I would like to Kind of reward that and make sure that uh, I am commenting on their videos and promoting their stuff when I can. My next goal is Instagram. Before I started my YouTube I was super active in the bookstagram, book Instagram community and I posted super regularly. Um, I haven't posted since like the end of June um, and that page has just kind of got neglected and ignored and I haven't haven't even looked at it for months other than to look at other people's stuff. So this is not like a definite goal that I have to achieve, but I would like to, uh, you know, get active on that again, put a little bit more love into it as well. So that's just like a small, like, if I get time, hopefully, kind of goal. I see a few people have been putting like numbers, like how many subscribers they want to hit next year on their videos, but I don't think I want to do that. I just want to, you know, grow as I grow. I don't think it's healthy for me to keep checking the subscriber account because it drops and goes up so often and sometimes it just drops like five subscribers if you just post a video so I know that I could be one of those people that could become personally offended by that or become too obsessed with that so uh, next year we're not going to try and think about that too much um just a general goal just post um potentially post regularly I don't post regularly. I kind of had not a goal to post every week, sort of, um, as I started. And it just wasn't doable at the time. And um, it's too much pressure and I was starting to film videos that were just not postable, like even more not postable than the stuff I already post. Like that's how bad it was. So, but I think I'm back in the mindset now that I'm on break and I've kind of had a rest that I think I can do on a week. I think I just got in my head about it a bit too much and I think if I pre-film like I am today that takes the pressure off um, pumping out content when I have you know a couple of minutes to spare. So if I have one day one of my days off where I just film a couple of videos I think that makes the one video a week doable and I think that's how you grow your channel is through that consistency as well. So I'm gonna say at this point one video a week next year. I would like to say that I could set a certain day because I know that's such a good way like people say oh yeah I post videos every Wednesday but I just don't think I could stick to that. So I don't know we'll see maybe I'll try it um, but I think just for me personally I won't pick a day but I'm gonna say one video a week I'm going to trial that and if it works and if it's manageable with pre-filming then potentially more than one video a week because I do love uploading. It's just do I have the time and can I be bothered when I'm tired and not feeling like it and not feeling happy enough to film, you know? You don't want to force it. 
Finally, for my channel goals, I want to um, stop being a skater cat and I think finally for my channel, next year will be the year that I finally have the guts to do reading sprints. I love watching people's reading sprints and I think it's so fun um, and it's a great way to keep me focused on reading because I don't have a very good attention span and even if I'm enjoying a book I'm still going to pick up my phone and it just slows the whole reading process down. So I am going to do it next year at one point I am going to do reading sprints. I've been trying to figure out a time for like time zones but that's impossible. So I'm just going to do it. I think I just have to I just have to not be so scared that no one's going to show up and just actually do it because it's fun and I enjoy watching other people host. They seem to have really uh, a really fun time. So next year I am going to do reading sprints at some point. So then there's my physical TBR slash buying habits for next year. I want to be one of those people that's like, okay, I'm going on a book ban, you know, I have to get through so many physical books before I can buy again. I'm just not that person. I'm honest and realistic with myself. It's not going to happen. I have done uh, book buying bans successfully before where I've gone a whole month without buying a book. I think I'll definitely do that maybe a couple of months next year for sure. That's doable. I can do that. But um, I can't hold myself accountable. I can't stop spending money on books. I just I just know it's not going to happen. So I'm not going to set myself any goals to getting through my physical TBR. Because, yeah, it's not going to happen. Pages with Paige had this great idea. Uh, I really wish I had the discipline to be able to do this. Where she said every like physical book she read had like a monetary value. So like each book, for example, she read out of her physical TBR was worth like $10 and then when she read 20 books, that's $200 to spend on books. It's a great idea. It's such a smart incentive, such a great way to save money and slow down on spending, but I can't do it. I really can't. I wish I could, but it's not going to happen. So I have no goals when it comes to getting through my physical TBR or uh, slowing of my spending of books. So that's a great positive way to end this video. I hope this is a watchable video. I feel like I've just kind of ranted. I hope it had some sense to it and I hope it wasn't too general for you guys. Um, but again, I don't like to set, my, set myself like specific, specific goals because I just know I'm not going to st stick to them. Thank you so much for watching my 2022 reading goals. Let me know if you have any recommendations to the questions I asked um, earlier. And let me know what are your reading goals of 2022. Do you like to set them? Do you like to just see where the year takes you? Um, and if you do set them, how many books are you planning on reading next month? I'm curious to see uh, everyone's goals and if they're setting realistic or uh, aiming high. If you liked this video for whatever reason and wanted to see more of me, um, maybe potentially subscribe if you would want to. That would be great and I would love that. I love... Um, interacting with everyone. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. They're all in my description below. And thank you for watching again. I will see you in the next video. Bye!